Hello everybody and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. And uh I have not seen anything like this floating by. Only in like some discords. But there is some hidden Venusaur tech. If I can get Venusaur. Uh, I think I'm, I'm still gonna go potion because potion has been fairly better to me. Um, energy amplifier. <clears throat> so I have not seen anything flow by, fly by about one of Venusaur's moves, pedal dance. So quick disclaimer. Quick uh, discussion about that now. There is a hidden mechanic with pedal dance that decreases the cooldown of the other move by one second per enemy hit, I believe. I'm going down with Elder Goss. So there is that hidden tech where i have not seen that float by anywhere so i want to have i want to just showcase a little bit and i'm going to showcase it with um with sludge bomb so it'll be sludge bomb pedal dance and then just watch the the cooldown of sludge bomb go down rapidly with each succession, with each hit of a uh, pedal dance. And this is for the entire duration of pedal dance. It goes down to about like two to three seconds. And then from there it goes on regular, cool. it, it count, counts down normally. But that's the hidden mechanic of, um, uh, of, uh, I literally forgot here already, pedal dance. So when I get there, I'll showcase it off. Did I get it? Nope. Fuck it. Let's go for uh, everything else. Get to my level five as quickly as I can. But yeah. To me, especially if, if you go with Sludge Bomb, then what that tells me is um is that Bulbasaur can actually output a lot more damage than normal. Help me out here. Use that potion. All right. So I want to see how much damage I can actually put with my current build. Just because, again, it is something that no one really has seen. That is mine. Fuck you guys. And you'll be hearing a lot of button taps. here Absol. Absol trying to be so fucking useful right now. Alright. 
Dread Knot should be appearing soon. I, I'm close. I need my level seven right now. There we go. So now I'll start showcasing off uh, literally everything. So if you've seen the cooldown, then you've noticed that the cooldown actually dropped. Damn. Absol. Why are you retreating? They only have like three down here. But yeah, you saw how the uh, Sludge Bomb actually came off cooldown almost immediately. Come on, you, you got this. We need to start going for the... Uh, now, uh, this works on enemy Pokemon. It does not work on wild Pokemon. So, everything that's gonna happen with this wild Pokemon, it does not work on wild Pokemon. I'm going for the Dreadnought, fuck it. We need the Dreadnought. And I'm not going for the Dreadnought because fuck that. I need health. Alright. Again, still need to go for this Dreadnought. And they got it. So I have to wait. There we go. Much better. That's what the energy amplifier. So think of that, but just crazier damage. Actually, that was the crazy damage. But think about that in like a real team fight. Um, I actually want to break up that top lane right now. Well, we still actually pretty much got it, so I can actually go down, farm a bit more. But yeah, just the fact of I can have at the very least two sludge bombs out at the same time, doing constant tick damage, while people are actually in my uh, just literally in my entire field of um. Oh, they actually broke. Oh, well, sure. That's what I want. Right. Crossus is nowhere to be found, so I'm just gonna go score real fast. That's fine. I don't know 
why that Absol is like so adamant on getting me. But that's fine. I didn't want to go down there. Absol. You know what? There we go. There we go. Fuck. That's fine. That is fine. Um, we're in the lead, so we don't have to. This is gonna be tough. This is going to be tough. I should actually put focus band to actually help you survive some of these fights a little bit longer. I'm moving too far away from the actual fight. Um, I don't think it matters. That Lucario might actually win the win it for them. That Lucario won it for them. That's fine. That is fine. Probably ha instead of having. Yeah, I probably should have went focus ban. If I'm gonna go this build. But you, you, you do see the point where I can actually keep throwing out many sludge bombs, or at least a couple of sludge bombs. Same thing with Giga Drain. As long as they stay within that, uh, within the, the range of Petal Dance, which means you have to be on top of them, which is why the speed boost is necessary. You can see that the cooldown gets reduced by quite a lot, allowing you to throw out multiple sludge bombs, multiple Giga Drain. And if you have a Giga Drain, you can actually, ha you have multiple sustain, or like a great deal of sustain within like a few seconds. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found this informative, whether I won or lost, just it being informative enough to warrant anything. And hopefully see more come out with how Venusaur wants to be built. But until we see like item changes or like some buffs and nerfs and whatnot, people are probably going to still pick a uh, solar beam over pedal dance just because they want to execute, which I probably should have done in that game. But I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to like show off what I found out through my playtesting. With that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Help me reach 100 subscribers. Like, comment, let me know what you thought of it. And with that being said, the tavern is now closed. I shall see you all later.